There was a time when people trekked across China, exchanging ideas with people who had trekked from India or from Europe, and met each other with a sense of confidence and a sense of exhilaration. Exhilaration that comes from knowing that this other has something to offer versus something to take. Why does Silk Road work? How does it work? First of all, Silk Road is unique, right? I mean, nothing like it exists. It's not a traditional hierarchical organization. No matter what part of the world you're from, no matter what instrument you play, no matter what language you speak, there is still this common thread. To me, Silk Road is able to bring up emotions and conversations that are impossible to bring up wise. And we do it most of the time without even opening our mouths. That's what Silk Road is about. Silk Road's mission has always been about creating music that engages difference. How do we celebrate difference among us but not let those differences divide us? How do you co-create? How do you co-collaborate? What does it mean to really hear someone? The idea of radical cultural collaboration, not only are you willing to share, but you're actually willing to hear what somebody else's deep thoughts about something might be. The respect then goes beyond just the music. The respect goes towards their culture, towards what they eat, towards the social structure. We're not only trying to present things which are beautiful to an audience, but things that actually create action and inspire movement in people to look at their own stories, to examine the communities where they live, to dig underneath the surface. Silk Road helped me understand music as a tool for education. The Global Musician Workshop is a brilliant example. We have students, participants from almost 17 or 18 different countries. It's not a masterclass format of come in, hear Sandi play some amazing stuff on tabla, and it's done. It's really about how do you express an artist's full range. I went in thinking that I knew what my work as a musician was supposed to be, and I came away with a completely different view of that. Passion-driven learning really is the key piece of our education mission. We try to share some of our thoughts and feelings about the passion that we have for what we do, and thereby try to inspire the students to find their own passions and explore those, because I think discovering those passions can really transform a person's life. Whether it's a music concert or a workshop, it's something that everybody should be part of. Everybody should experience this. On a fundamental level, what we're trying to do is erase borders, erase gaps between humans. If you look deep enough in the local, you actually find the global. I just, I think it's the future. The future of music, the future of education, the future of everything. Wow, seven billion of us have a certain kind of capacity, capability, imagination, have this kind of empathetic feeling towards your fellow human being. I mean, what problem couldn't be solved when you have this? Creating a more hopeful world, it doesn't have anything to do with music. It has to do with you as a human being.